Yeah, the, the winner of this is going to have to go up against Joke, and we saw how dominant Joke look on defense and how he always is and one of the best players. So tough matchup, whoever gets out of this, but you never know. And Steelers, look at them. They've got Arizona next week. And then week 15, they got to take Buffalo, which is a yeah. tough out as these guys are ready to go. Let's get this semifinal number one underway. Who will be representing one half of the championship? Will it be Joel or will it be Ish? Yeah, and the winner that this gets that autographed helmet from Mark Barron, that's a pretty cool uh, thing to get as well as being the Steelers Club champion. Look at Joel, he's ready to go. He's running that Titans offense playbook. Yeah, the Titans offense playbook. I'm not really sure what we'll see. I think we'll see some gun doubles weak, some gun tight flex. Um, a lot of shotgun for Joel though, I would imagine. As the kick is away, it's gonna be Joel starting with the ball first. Yeah, it looks like he's going to, yep, that doubles weak. He, so he likes to go to inside zone here, a little uh, RPO bubble out of this doubles weak. I, I would think we'd see that tight flex that we've known Joel for a couple of years and to Ish do. And Ish is going to be running that West Coast playbook. Yeah, that West Coast playbook, so good. Ish has been running West Coast for years now. He loves the gun bunch and in that Jets defense. So we're going to see a lot of meta from Ish. Well, we've got Joel with the ball first. He is as confident as he has ever been coming into this Steelers Final Four. He knows he can win and represent Pittsburgh in the club championships in just about 11 days. His first down, good run defense by Ish. Yeah, first play goes with that inside zone, and Ish is right there with that Keith Bullock to blow it up in the backfield. Second and 12 already, and he's in that doubles week still. Who else but Andrew Luck at the helm? Austin Eckler, that football outsider's Austin Eckler at halfback. We're seeing some players start to use him. A lot of speed, a lot of pass catching ability. Second and 12. Luck stepping up, Luck's gonna take off, and nice job by Joel, just taking what he can get. Yeah, nice route concept right there. Uh, Ish played great defense on it. I think Joel's gonna try to hit Eckler out of the backfield a lot, look for some wheel routes. He went with the out route there. But great defense right there by Ish, but Andrew Luck just so good with that escape artist. You can see right now Eckler sort of on that extended corner route. And that's where Eckler can be so dangerous. Such a good pass catcher, third and four. Luck rolling left, good coverage Got downfield. Him. He's looking over the top, looking for Tyree. Drop it in the bucket, Joel with fireworks early. Down to the one yard line. Yeah, huge play to Tyreek. He I'm throws back. the deep post. You can see Joel. There's nothing new. He says he's back. Oh man, he's getting me fired up. This is great to see, man. Joel back on that on the stage, on the main stage. Huge play on the third play of the game. Tyreek Hill, baby. If you're Joel, that is the exact play you wanted to get. The emotions rolling because he plays best when Come he's on, fired man. up. He definitely does, Nick. It's first and goal zone. here. Look for fullback dive. Come on, you fake Dickerson. Get in the end zone. There's fullback dive Come to on, Dickerson. Dickerson get in. Into the one end stop. zone. It's Joel's it's on the board one first. Stop, one stop. You got the momentum early. Just one stop. You're bad. You're, the nerves are out. <laughs> Joel says the nerves stop. are out. We got to see how Ish already. responds Come now. On, Joel's man, fired up. He's getting in Ish's ear a little bit. We got to see how Ish can handle this. One thing I love, though, all this talk right now, he's talking to himself. He's telling himself, no nerves, I'm back, I'm ready to play. Ish, on the other hand, he's going to just, it's the first drive of the game, can't panic. Hey, your first drive of the game, main stage, as we look at this replay here, he waits, waits, Tyreek on that post, motion post over, huge play, wow. That was a patient God. waiting for him to get open. I'm creeping through the night. I told you I am back. I told you yeah, you love to see that emotion from Joel, and what a way. You come, you haven't played in a year, two years. You come back in your first drive on the main stage. Three plays it takes to get seven. What a drive on his way back, Joel. Great job. But you know, if Ish is able to go down and put points on the board, he ain't going to be quiet over there. He's going to get up. He's an emotional guy, too. Yeah, and, and Ish is really good on offense, man. He runs that gun bunch so good. So if he gets seven here, he's going to talk a little bit. We're going to have a back-and-forth game. Man, that's a good one. Again, Ish averaging 162 yards through the air. Joel, 160. Identical game plans for these two. They want to air it out and bring the passing game back to Madden 20. Yeah, they do. And you saw there, Ish came out in that eye tight, and, and Joel came out in a 1-4-6 look, I think by accident. So he had a call timeout right there. You're going to get in that 3-4 now. So Ish looking to establish the run a little bit early here, that eye form tight. Expect to see some uh, halfback dive and some halfback stretch. Crazy though, coming in 63% passing for Ish, 59 for Joel. Still can't use that running game though, and they're gonna start off, hand it off to Tyreek Hill, trying to find the room over the middle, he'll pick up three. Yeah, I think Ish just wants to come out, testing Joel's run defense, see what he's got, see where he's at, and now we see here, he's going into his gun bunch, his bread and butter. He's probably gonna run a lot of mesh posts, wide receiver posts, maybe some stick, verticals, deep corner. 
He feels very comfortable in this. He doesn't have really a, 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 a half bag. He's using Tyree Kill, but out of this, you're going to see TJ Logan. Yeah, TJ Logan, but he's got that Marvin Harrison in the slot with that route apprentice. He goes to deep corner, first play. And defense standing tall for Joel as Fletcher Cox comes up the middle and brings him down for a sack. Yeah, Fletcher Cox, one of the best players in the game. Huge in this 1-4-6, and already third and 15, a bad situation already on Isha's first drive here. Got a shotgun formation. Two wide receivers to each side, tight. Fick dropping back on third and 15. There's nobody open and good coverage downfield. And better contain on Mike Vick, not letting him take off for the first down. Yeah, he went to that gun tight play with that, that play action play that has a crossing route, and Joel's ready for it. Great stop, and now Ish is going to punt fourth and 15. So if you're Joel, you're playing phenomenal right now. Joel said one stop, that's all you need. Is this the one stop he needed? Because he feels confident offensively. Yeah, if you score in three plays, you definitely feel confident. So. Let's see what Ish does here. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely going to punt. Fourth and 15. Yeah, tough way to start. And if you're Joel, yeah, you definitely feel great right now going up seven with ball. But Ish does get ball at half. He just ha can't give up any more points right here. If you're if you're having to play defense and get a stop, do you feel better knowing that it was one big play that got you as opposed to like a sustained 14-play drive where you couldn't stop him at all? Uh, I, I, I'd rather someone work like work their way down the field on me. You know what I mean? I don't want to give up a play in one, like a touchdown on one play, three plays or whatever. So. I'd rather have someone make them work down the field, honestly. Let's see what Joel does offensively. Up 7-0 here in semifinal number one. Defending champ Deliverance. Coming up next in semifinal number two, taking on lockdown. These two guys both, talking to them before the game, they not only felt confident about getting to the Steelers Club Championship final, they were confident about winning the whole thing. Yeah, look, there's that bubble right there. See, the thing with that is now he has that bubble to the wide side, and Ish didn't play the right defense right there. He flipped his nickel, so he had a strong side right there. Hit the bubble. Nice play right there. That's what Joel likes to do. He likes to do that inside zone RPO. If you, if you have no one out there, he's going to throw that bubble all day long. Boy, you want to talk about a fun addition to Madden NFL 20. Those RPOs added a, a little wrinkle to the run game. Yeah, we haven't seen it too, too much, you know, in this tournament, but Joel does love it a lot. Handoff, Eckler, ah, oh, little jukebox right there. It may not be Gail Sayers, it may not be Clinton Portis, but Austin Eckler got some jukebox. Yeah, a little halfback draw, which we don't see often this year either. We saw that more last year in Madden 19. But that's the thing with Joel. That's why he loved to watch him play. He's always going to have a little something up his sleeve that you don't see a lot. Yeah, Joel's never been one interested in sticking to the meta. He wants to play how he wants to play. He's going to win using it. Eckler, first down, right side. Nice blocking up front to let him pick a bait. Yeah, good one right there. Kind of bad stick work on the defensive part right there by Ish. Nice first down right there. And I think he, yeah, he's gonna, he has hike this before the first is over. Motions Brown over. Look for an inside zone here. Eckler on his left tip. A little draw play to Austin Eckler. Got caught up just for a second. We've reached the end of one. It's been all Joel up 7 nothing and driving. Yeah, nice, nice stuff by Joel right now. He's going. It's just coming out in that nickel now, and when you have a 4-D line set, the halfback draw is a little better than the inside zone, and that's what Joel's going to. I want to see Ish move his slot corner to the receiver side. Yeah, he's just going to hit this bubble if he doesn't have a slot corner over there. That's Brown with the catch. Hollywood Brown to the 15-yard line. Big third and two upcoming. Yeah, he's just playing the numbers game. He has a two-on-one situation over there, going to throw that bubble all day long. And now Ish is going to come out in that 1-4-6, which is not great against the bubble either, but goes with the draw. It is the draw play. Good pressure up the middle by Paul Mulligan. Eckler get to the outside. He cannot. It's just defense standing tall. And you got to think Joel's going to take three. Yeah, he's definitely going to take three here. Big stop for Ish right there. Now you get the ball back. You're going to get ball at half. You're in a decent position. I'd like to see Joel be a little more aggressive there. Third and two, you know, you run the draw. I want to see a little dot right there on third and two. From the right hash mark, a 39-yard kick. As already, Joel's thinking about the clock. Ball is down. Kick is up. And it is good. Joel, 10 nothing lead. Ish, try, I got to find something offensively. That first drive did not go well. Yeah, this is a big drive for him coming up right here. You either got, this is probably your last drive before halftime. You need points right here. Tyree kill, and he's not going to return it with him. Didn't want to risk maybe taking a big hit on that return. So we saw first down from Ish. He ran Tyree kill. The last two downs running out of that gun bunch. It looks like he's going to go back to it. Yeah, he had that corner route. That play he got sacked. He just couldn't get off in time. Fletcher Cox was in the backfield. I think he's going to go back to some type of corner routes and post here. But he goes with the sweep. Marvin Harrison. Harrison fights through the tackle. Picks up four. 
So even with running 60, over 60% passing in the leading up to the final four, still trying to establish some sort of run game. Yeah, you always want to stay balanced, though, especially against these high competitive players. Joel, you know, is a great defensive player, too, so you want to stay balanced. Vic dropping back on second and six, waiting, looking. He's going to try to tank off. Boy, he avoided one defender, but couldn't avoid the right side as Vic picks up two, third and three. Joel's playing great defense right now. Just nothing there for Ish on that wide receiver post play with the crosser. Look for a mesh post here. Yeah, I think he's going to audible to that. Joel using that Tillman over the middle, which is scary. You don't want to throw around Tillman. We'll see if, uh, if Ish decides to get a little more aggressive with Michael Vick, escape artist. Pressure immediately gets it off, and he finds Holt right at the Steelers' logo. Midfield is the first first down for Ish's offense. He was about .5 seconds away from getting sacked. He hits that post throughout, out of mesh post. Huge first down for Ish and for his confidence moving forward here. TJ Logan on the left hip of Michael Vick. It looks like that's going to take us all the way down to the two-minute warning. Will he snap it before the two-minute warning? He will not. 10 nothing, but that was a massive completion for Ish. Yeah, that was huge. He needed that for his confidence. He hasn't looked great on offense. Big first down. But he's got to be able to block this 1-4-6. It doesn't look like he can so far. He's scrambling for his life with Michael Vick. Here comes the pressure again. Vick's in trouble. Go get him! Go get him, man. down as Brown brings run. down Michael Vick him. for a loss of 13. Yeah, like I just said, he's got to be able to pick up this blitz. It doesn't look like he can out of this 1-4-6. You got to think that Ish has seen this defense a lot, though. Here he goes to identifying the uh, ID or double teaming over there. Let's see what he can do. It's coming again. Vic, let's go. Finds oh. Harrison. Nice throw from Mike Vic. Was that a low pass pocket lead? What were we looking at? Yeah, I think that was a low ball right there. A little scary, though. I think Joel was kind of on it. But he needed that completion. Now he's in a manageable third and ten. Gets back the 13 he lost from the sack on first down. Third and 10 for Ish, down 10 nothing. Vic, quick throw, finding no, Dante sir, Hall, no, sir, but he can't hold on to it, and it is fourth and 10. Yeah, if you're Ish, you can't really live like that. He's trying to just quick hike him and throw it over the middle where the seams are in this versus one four six, but it's a little scary, especially when you're lurking with Tillman back there. Let's see how he deals with the pressure from Joel. He's been sending heat nonstop. Oh, Vic stopped. dropping back on fourth and ten. Just gets rid of it for the dig route, and he can't complete it. And Joel gets another defensive stop. Yeah, huge stop right there for Joel. It looks like Ish had a step on him with that dig route, but just kind of an inaccurate pass, a little, you know, just awkward thing right there. Goes by him, and huge stop for Joel. Up ten. You can run this close. You can make this last possession before halftime. And if you're Ish, now you got to think about holding Joel to three or even zero to stay in this ball game, knowing you get half, the ball to half. Yeah, it's tough for Ish. He only has one timeout left right now, so he can't really call these timeouts to get the ball back. So if you're Joel, you're going to run this clock out. Second and seven. Eckler up the middle. Lots of room. Bullock just trips him up at the 39 yard line, but it's another first down for Joel. Yeah, Ish went with coverage defense right there, and Joel just hit him with the draw. Right up the middle. Just how the draw play is supposed to work. First down and 10. Quick throw to the flat. Michael Pruitt. Ah, oh, with a little shake of hey, back. You don't see that on the tour from Pruitt. The 14 Shea. cap Michael Pruitt. <laughs> you don't see that often, but he'll take it. Joel's loving it right now. Look for that Look for that bubble again here. Lock dropping back. Stepping up over the middle. Oh, oh it should have been picked. Ish can't believe he didn't have a turnover. Oh, what a terrible break right there for Ish. I think that was a Brandon Wilson low cap. You're only up 10 points. But wow, you, you can't drop that pick if you're, if you're Ish. That's job. huge. Joel telling himself, settle down. You got the lead. Handoff. Eckler up the middle. Joseph with a tackle. Yeah, I think that was a wake-up call for Joel right there. He almost threw a pick that was could have been costly. Now he knows, all right, I'm cool with taking my three here. And if you're Ish, that's the thing. That's the reason you get that 11 cap, Brandon Wilson. You know, you save the cap there, but then he drops one of the biggest plays of your Madden career. Third down and 10. Luck stepping up. Only a four-man rush. It's picked up nicely. Looking for the crosser. It's caught in coverage at the one-yard line. Oh, man, Joel is living life on the edge right now. And if you're Ish, you got to be sick, man. That's tough. And Joel knows it, but he'll take it. He's at the one-yard line. But now it's you got to be careful here. 16 seconds, you have no timeouts. you you got to probably try to th throw a pass, but throw this away. if you, you cannot take a sack right here. And if Ish knows that, he's going to bring the heat. 16 seconds, no timeout. Here comes Luck. Look at left side. Hill with the catch. You can change his name from Joel CP to Joel TD. 
Another like that. touchdown on the board. And I'm still scary. <laughs> I'm in your nightmares. I don't even play the game. There it is. <laughs> you love to see the emotion because that was a huge touchdown. It really was. And that's why you see so, Joel so animated right there. Going up 17-0. Tyreek Hill coming up huge for him in this game. 17 nothing, Joel on top. If you're ish, you got one timeout. You're gonna try to get something going with Hill. Under 10 seconds, he's got some room past the 30 to the 32 yard line. Let's take a look at this dot one more time. Just an easy slant flat concept. Yes, yeah, slant flat concept. He just waited. I think that was a nice play right there because if you don't have, you can throw it away. It's a quick read and he waited and Tyreek Hill caught it for the touchdown. Huge play. See how aggressive Ish three. gets here. He's got one timeout, only eight three. seconds on the board. Joel's in that quarter four three deep four defense. Four Vic four rolling out right side, That's throwing fine. it back That's left fine. side. That's Caught fine. by Logan That's out of bounds, and fine. he'll have a chance to throw up a Hail Mary and get back into this game. Yeah, nice play right there. You know, he needed like a couple more yards to have a chance at a field goal. Probably, you know, he probably needed about 10 more yards, so unlikely, but. You gotta throw it up here. You gotta give yourself a chance. You're down 17 nothing. It looks like he's gonna come out in the I form. He's gonna try it for the the old home run hit with Tyree Kill at halfback. Stretch run for Hill. Good coverage. Changing direction. Spinning, but not winning. And we will hit halftime. It has been all Joel. 17 to nothing. Joel dominant first half. Yeah, dominant first half by Joel, playing great defense on Ish. Ish just has nothing going on offense. And Joel has gotten a teeny bit lucky on offense, but he has that Tyree kill that's done enough for him, 17 nothing. Well, as expected, Joel's been chirping, he's been loud, and we've had him wired up here at the club. Got him! What are you doing? All right. The nerves are out. It's good, just one stop. Do not let him run! Go get him! And don't forget the Pittsburgh Steelers throwing in a little more. Not only will they be the club champion, but they're gonna get a autographed helmet by linebacker Mark Barron. What a trophy to give out. They've also got a special jersey to the winner. We'll reveal that after the final. Man, it's so great seeing these teams giving away so much to their club champion. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Like I said earlier, that autograph helmet is pretty cool, man. A lot of things on the line here for the Steelers Club Championship, and Joel's I looking great so far. All right, it's 17 nothing. Joel's on top. Ish going to get the ball to start the second half. This is the most important drive of the game. Yeah, Nick, you nailed it. This is the biggest drive of his Madden career right here. You, you know, you need seven on this drive. You have to get on the board. Unfortunately for Ish, Joel, I mean, Joel's been working well offensively, but his defense has been out of this world. Yeah, it has. It really has. He, he has the answer for this bunch, this bunch offense, and I think he must have prepared for this heavy. He must have known Ish loves gun bunch. He probably got a lot of great reps, and it's paying off right now. First and ten. Fake dropping back. Looking deep. He's going for it all. No. Can Tyreek Hill make a play against Prime Time? Oh, you ball. don't challenge Prime Time in the ball, air. People. He's you past the 40. 45. Trying ball, to get man. to midfield. First play. Over, first man. mistake of the second half. Yeah, that's that's Ish just getting desperate right there. He's trying to make a play. Chucks it deep and just nothing there. Great click on. As you can see on this replay, clicks on to Dion. Huge pick for Joel. And, you know, it's looking rough right now for Ish. If there's somebody you want to throw it up to yeah, to jump ball, ball, I don't think Tyreek Hill is the right choice. Yeah, that's, what a matchup. Tyreek versus Dion, and Dion comes up with the answer. And now you should see Joel run some clock here. You know, Dion Sanders is at home, nodding his head going, you know, I get that pick 10 times out of 10. Austin Eckler slides through the hole, picks up a couple. Yeah, and that's tough for Ish, man. You gotta really be patient there. I know you're down 17, but you gotta you gotta take what you can get and move down the field methodically. You can't go for the big play right away. It's just not there. Flag down. This might be a free play as it's Brown on the bubble screen. Give him a first down. As it was indeed an offside. Boy, when it rains, it pours. Yeah, nothing's going right now for Ish. I mean, Joel just hitting him with that bubble. And okay. Ish really needs a fumble or something here. He needs a turnover badly. Draw play for Eckler. Nowhere to go. Ish just seems, I mean, this is not the guy before the game. He was loose. He was talking. He felt confident. But, man, Joel has shut that down quickly. Yeah, he really has. Just Joel's come out with a phenomenal performance, especially on defense. Just looked great versus Gun Bunch. And here, I, I like to see Joel hike, you know, down at one. Luck's in trouble. 
Pressure down goes Luck at the 41 yard line. Keith Bullock with a sack, third and 30. Maybe a little bit of life for Ish. Yeah, a little bit. You got to hold him here. Third and 30. You can't give up a field I mean, goal right here. Dumb. You ran back 20 yards. If, I mean, I mean, if you're Ish, you, you really got to get off the field. Who do you think Joel caps harder at, his opponent or himself? <laughs> himself. <laughs> Lock on third and 30. Rolling out. Looking downfield. He'll chuck this one out of bounds. Telling himself, don't be stupid, man. No need to throw any turnovers. You're in control. Yeah, big stop right there for Ish. He still has time, man. You just can't get. You just can't try to go deep right here. You got to move the ball methodically, like I said. You know, take what you can get, and get back on the board and get back in this game. The punt is away. Tyreek Hill is going to have a chance. Always dangerous. Hill with the ball in his hands. Get left. That's all you got to do is get the left side of the field. I would like to see him cut it outside more there. You have Tyreek Hill for a reason. Get the left side of the field on the punt. I promise you. Even on special teams. <laughs> Even on special He's teams. He's relentless with it. Love it. You love that emotion. Don't forget, coming up next, Deliverance and Lockdown. Defending, two-time defending champ, Deliverance in action. As Marvin Harrison, nice catch on the sidelines for Ish. How quickly are you thinking you need to score to stay in this game? Yeah, quickly. You need to score, you know, at the latest by the end of this, you know, third quarter. You have to get points on the board by the end of this third quarter. A great patience right there to wait for the Joel to come off with the user and hit that corner out on the sideline. 2-0-1 and counting in the third quarter. Vic dropping back, rolling left. Only two routes downfield, and they are blanketed. Surprised not to see Vic using his legs more. Yeah, it seems like Ish hasn't, you know, he's struggling versus defense a lot. You know, Joel's mixing up with coverage and the blitz, and Ish doesn't really know what's coming, so he's motioning a blocker to only send out two routes. I mean, it looks like Joel's really confusing him right now. Joel's defense has been the story. Ish hasn't been able to move the ball. He's finally on the other side of the 50. What does he have for second and 10 out of the gun punch? Vic, quick throw, out route, Tyreek Hill. Nice switch up there from Ish. A lot of long developing routes early, that time the quick throw. Yeah, smart adjustment right there by Ish. He knew that uh, Joel wasn't in a cover two, so he could hit that outside out route real quick. Great play, third and two. Got to pick this up. Bunch to the left side. Lone wide receiver on the right side. TJ Logan on the right hip of Vic. Dropping back, only a three-man rush. He's got the corner out right there, but didn't set his feet. No dashing dead eye for Mike Vick. No completion. It's now fourth down. Yeah, it's tough overthrow. It looks like he had, you know, he had the deep guy, but then Joel ran back on it, so he wanted to hit the corner out. It looked like he might have had a chance running out with Vick too. Big fourth and two right here. You turn him at life's on the line on this play. If you're if you're Joel, you're sending pressure here. Yeah, I probably would and lurk the, the quick middle. Look for like a quick thing. Maybe he's trying to go the out route. Halfback uh, wheel. Only a three-man rush. Look it over the top. That's a linebacker. You can't put Tyree Kill with a linebacker on him. Ish has life here in the first semifinal. Yeah, great play by Ish. I thought he was going to lob it because, you know, he had him beat no one over the top, but just the linebacker cannot get there. Huge touchdown for Ish. He needed that. Like we say, he needed to score before the end of the third. He did just that. Now you got to play defense. Oh, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma to tune back in. We got a ball game here in semifinal number one. Yeah, we do, man. Let's go. And just like that, listen, Joel's still in firm control with a 10-point lead. But remember, Ish is coming off of a stop as well. So let's take a look one more time. The linebacker just can't make that pick like they did in 19. Yeah, goes with that mesh post concept. He looks like he had the halfback wheel too, and I think Joel noticed that, and then he hits the post over the top behind the linebacker. Great read by Ish. Now he's got a corner over there. On that bubble screen, will he hand it off? He will to Eckler, trying to find some room, nowhere to go. A little momentum for Ish. Yeah, I want to see some emotion out of Ish now. You know, he's got the momentum. He had that last stop, like you pointed out, Nick. He's playing better on defense. Joel going with his chew clock now, trying to make this the last play before the end of the third. Luck in the shotgun, three wide set, dropping back, pressure picked up nicely. He's got all the time in the world, looks over the middle. Hollywood Brown, one on one, advantage Hollywood. Yeah, that was actually really good defense by Ish. It's just too much speed on the field for Joe. Hollywood Brown, you know, just so fast, and, and Ish couldn't keep up with him. Well, put your fours up in the chat. They got controllers down, so that means fours up. It's fourth quarter time, 17 to 
to seven. Joel is on top, but Ish has brought some life back to the semifinal. Yeah, he's fighting, man, but it's getting to that scary territory now where you got to stop him on these next, you know, this this possession right here, like these three downs or the next one. You got to use those timeouts eventually. Hands it off to Eckler. No room up the middle. As you guys just saw, remember, all 32 club championship finals on demand on the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube. Check them out. We've had some phenomenal games. Second and nine, Eckler again. That run just hasn't been there since he's been able to take away the bubble screen. Yeah, only 13 rushes for 18 yards. Ish taking away that bubble screen has been huge for him because he can't really get anything going with the run. Big third and eight here. Ish has got to get off the field. Huge third and eight for Ish if he wants to stay alive in this game. He's in that 3-4 bear man defense. He's bringing the heat. He's going to have one-on-one -on -one matchups if you're Joel here. you got to use your speed. You gotta get it off because the blitz is coming. You got Hollywood in the slot. Tyreek out to the left side. Speed demons. Play clock under five. Play clock down to zero. Delay of game. Joel knows that may have been a big mistake. Third and eight versus third and 13. Yeah, I think Joel wasn't really sure what he wanted to do right there. I, I think he was thinking about maybe running the ball and then he motioned over, I think, for a pass. And I, th I think he was uncertain and took the delay of game here. So now third and 13, Ish is going to go back to that man-to-man -man defense, bringing the heat. Joel's going to have opportunities here. Hoping the pressure can get there before Joel can pick up the first down. He quick passes to Eckler in the flat. Nice rally down and tackle the 47-yard line. Fourth and about six, and it looks like Joel's going to punt the ball away. Yeah, great job by both guys there. Honestly, Joel recognized the heat was coming. He hit Eckler in the, in the flats real quick, but then Ish with a great tackle in open field. And he's going to have a chance now. He's getting the ball back with, with all three timeouts, three minutes to go. Great stop for Ish right there. A score here, field goal or touchdown. He does have all three timeouts. This game far from over as Ish now has back-to-back -back defensive stops on Joel. Yeah, he's really buckled up when he needed to, and he's going to really, in an ideal situation, was that it will be that he can score before the two-minute warning. That will really be huge for him. And we, not a great punt from Joel, only pinning him at the 19-yard line. Yeah, he might have overthought it a little bit there, trying to pin him too far back. Sometimes that happens to me. You know, I overthink the punt, and then that happens. But now, two minutes, 51 seconds, he's got to score before the two-minute warning here. Get points on the board. Coming up next, it is Deliverance, the two-time defending champ. Looking to become three-time as he takes on lockdown in semifinal number two. Josh and RG on the call. Vic, nowhere to go. He'll throw it out of bounds. Yeah, only went with two routes again, and Joel was playing more of a coverage defense, and just nothing there. 17 to 7 ish needing a clutch try to cut back to one score Vic three-man rush out of the pocket he's gonna take a shot looking over the top for Hill oh no one comes down with it Joel can't pick. believe he didn't have a pick Troy. Ish can't I believe he didn't Troy. have a touchdown <laughs> it looks like he had a step on him there, and I think he did but then Joel was there oh just a tight play right there neither of them could come up with it when in doubt, the game just says, listen, let it fall to the ground, let it fight another down. Third and ten. Yeah, look for a corner out here. Oh, three-man rush, but insta shot on the right side. Oh, Cam Wake gets in the backfield. This is your ball game. This is it. Pulled in 18 for your tournament life for Ish to be the Steelers champion down 10. You got to get this first down. You got to move down the field quickly. Here we go. 2-10 and counting. He needs 18 yards. Vic rolling left. Waiting, Adam. looking, oh, too much time, oh, and right. down goes Vic Brown oh, with the right. sack. He might have had X for a touchdown. I think he had him. Joel bit a little too much on that corner. I think he had him, but he just couldn't set his feet and throw it in time. Wow, and that's probably going to do it right there. Huge play. Still three timeouts, still only a 10-point game. A touchdown will seal it as we'll hit the two-minute warning. What a defensive clutch up by Joel. And Joel's feeling it over here, dancing. Huge stop. And now if you're ish, you know, you're going to have to rely on an onside kick. You're going to have to use your timeouts here. Back in the shotgun, give it to Eckler one more time. It hasn't been a very effective running game for Joel. You think? I mean, again, we've seen weird things happen, but assuming Joel moves on, what sort of adjustments is he going to have to make going into that championship game? He needs a little bit more out of his offense. His offense hasn't looked great. He had that one bomb, but he, he relies on this bubble inside zone a little bit too much. He's going to have to cook up a couple more dots in order to move on and be the Steelers champion. Second timeout taken by Ish. Come on, Ish. Come on, Ish. You're going to have to get some, Ish. Tight, buddy. He's not talking to himself anymore. He's talking to Ish. He knows he's in control. He's by 13. 
Yeah, Ish knows it too, man. He gave a little smile back, but this is, this is you know, you got to score quickly here, and you got to hope you rely on that onside kick. But a field goal is no good. Touchdown, you got to get one timeout. It's going to be tough for him. Well, listen, game ain't over until it's over. Until there are zeros on the clock, there's still a chance. Ish needs a score, an onside kick, and another score. It's a tall task. But we know Ish can move the ball through the air. Vic in the shotgun. Three-man rush. He's Vic back out of the pocket. Concept. There's the corner out. Gets out of bounds, stops the clock. Yeah, if you're Joel, you got to know that's coming now. you got to play it back. You can't give up any deep bombs. You gotta get, You can give that up. You're okay with that. You obviously prefer him to stay inbounds, but just no deep stuff over the middle. You don't want to give up any easy touchdowns. 20-7 to seven here in semifinal number one. Big shout out to all the Pittsburgh Steelers fans in the chat. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. For the last 139 of this semifinal, Vic dropping back to pass, Watch stepping up, Watch and sitting down. Your best friend. Joel's defense again, uncle. Fletcher Cox. Is your best friend, your whole family's here. It's a Thanksgiving reunion in the backfield. Go get him now. Go get him now. <laughs> Time is your best friend, bro. Go get him. He's up by 13 with a minute and a half to go. He's money. still talking to himself. Him. It's a Thanksgiving reunion, he said, as Ish hits a nice little dot right there. And Joel's just feeling himself, man. A minute 28 away from being in the finals of the Steelers Club Championship. Ish has got to score quickly here. He's Michael going to that tight slot. Go get him right now. Go get him. Talking to his team, trying to pump him up. Vic, pressure up the middle. Him. Chip block was just Go enough get to get Smith in the backfield. Yeah, Joel's just getting some great sheds on his outside linebackers here. It's been a problem all day long for Ish. And I think the problem is Ish, I saw his team. He doesn't have the greatest offensive line. That's been kind of hurting him a little bit right here. Big second and 13. He's got to move quickly. Under a minute to go. Vic waiting with Vic looking. Finally going to see him take off. He'll pick up eight. That clock keeps on ticking. Yeah, Ish keeps going to that same play over and over. I'd like to see him, you know, do something a little different. Joel knows what's coming. Vic on third and four, taking a shot, challenging Dion, and you don't challenge Dion in his prime Pitch time ball, in people, Pittsburgh. Man. As yeah, that no, is no, going to no. be GG's in the chat. Joel on to the finals for the Pittsburgh Steelers with a dominant 20 to 7 win. Yeah, Joel back on that live main stage, man. He played phenomenal defense all day on Ish. Couldn't but couldn't do anything with that bunch of offense and Joel looked great in this first game. Let's take a look at the highlights uh, from this semifinal. There was plenty of talking. There was plenty of action as it was Joel with the ball first and why not? Chuck it up, looking for Tyreek Hill. Yeah, third play of the game, huge bomb to Tyreek, setting up this Dickerson touchdown, go up 7-0, and Joel was animated about it. It was 10-0, and Joel looking to put it out of reach. Andrew Luck in a tight cover. Yeah, real risky pass right there, but then this play was huge. This is the biggest play in the game to me. You know, that, slap, that, that slant flat combo, and he hit it for 17 nothing at halftime was huge for him. Sometimes it doesn't have to be fancy. It's just a simple slant flat. Ish trying to come back, cut it to 17-7, but it was Joel's defense stepping up Yeah, big. this play was huge. He had him, but just not enough time. Joel's defense was so good with those sheds off the edge all game long, and just a great dominant performance by Joel CP back on that main stage. Oh, he was dancing because he knows he's on to the Steelers championship game, taking down Ish. 27, he'll face the winner of Deliverance and Lockdown in our second semifinal. Can't wait to hear from the winner, Joel, who's standing with Evan. All right, Joel, we got you here, man. It's great to see what you did in the game, and obviously a uh, commanding lead turned into a victory for you. You mm. moved on to the finals. Um, what does it feel to go ahead and take that win? Uh, it felt really, really good going into this tournament. I didn't play a lot because I didn't want to stress myself out too much. Uh, I just wanted to come in kind of just – uh, in a way, free roll. Like, mm. you know, I want to win as many games as I possibly can. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get a belt. But I was trying to come in with the mindset that, you know, every single game is another game under the belt that you didn't assume you were going to win. Mm. Uh, I used to come into tournaments thinking that I was going to try to win every single tournament instead of coming in with a different mindset. And uh, it worked here because I've never been in the Steelers Club Championship and I'm in the final and it feels amazing. I finally beat my, my rival. I've, I played Ish four straight years. Wow. Uh, like online all the time. We played last year twice in, um, in clubs online he beat me so it, it feels absolutely amazing to come back and be able to 
at least do something on the stage, you know? Well, I want to talk about, like, the emotions that you have on the stage. I mean, we have a clip from you. We always make fun of where you're kind of saying, hold on, hold on, you know, and, and we love that intro. It seems to be part of what you do to get yourself going. Can you talk a little bit about more about why that is and kind of what that means to you? Yeah, like, vocal? when I'm listening to music, I, I just get extremely vocal. I think it's just all my emotions are running together, and it's a big play, a good play, bad play, no matter what, I'm going to show my emotion. And I want people to be entertained at the end of the day. I yeah. want, I, you know, I want competitive Madden to be something that people enjoy, not just for the X's and the O's and, you know, the deep plays in the, in the bunch week, but I want people right. to like it for the personality. So, you know, I'm out here every single game trying to entertain, trying to make sure people laugh, they have fun, you know, trying to have uh, people just forget about other things in, in daily life and just relax. All right, so you had a couple sacks to kind of shut the game down, ice it for you. You entertained a lot that way. Let's take a look at one of those sacks. Take us through this moment here. All right, so right here on 4th and 18, I know he's going to go ahead and try to bomb me with X, so I sent my spy immediately. I knew that he was going to have Vic, so I actually upgraded my slot cornerbacks for spies because I needed a little extra speed because I know that he wants to scramble with Vic as much as he possibly could. And, like, versus um, 10 caps, they're going to get, like, juked and embarrassed yeah. uh, like Lamar any day on a Sunday. But... I was able to get faster cornerbacks, and they were able to catch Vic and contain him as much as I possibly could. Vic was his number one weapon, so. Well, you've done a lot in your young career. You're 19 years old, earned over $40,000 so far in the MCS. But heading into this next matchup, it's PK Deliverance versus Lockdown. You're going to have your eye on it. You're going to watch. Do you honestly want to go against PK? He's the defending champion two times in a row now. Would that be something you're interested in, or do you, do you not care who's in that final? I mean, it's cool either way. Um, for the deliverance side, you got to beat the best to be the best. Simple. Uh, deliverance has been the best in this club. He's dominated and somehow squeaked out every single year. Mm. And you got to give props to him on games that are hard sometimes to squeak out those dubs. He, he gets the nitty-gritty dubs, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter if you win 21-0 or 21-14, 21-17, as long as you get the W. So He gets it done. Um, I would like to play him. Um, but lockdown, we played. Um, I lost. It. I was using my only loss online last year. I know not, not last year. This year during online LM, so it'd be cool to play him as well. We had a really really good game, but I fumbled in OT, so I definitely would like to play him as well. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah, I you. I really do appreciate Congratulations. it. Congratulations. We'll see you obviously in the finals, but we got to find out who he is going to be playing. So as he goes ahead and gets ready for that. We'll get close to sending you guys to break. One Madden Pro is through to the Steelers final. Who will he face?